welcome back to my channel thank you so much for tuning in if you are new here my name is yokai and i make faith-based content here if you are a returning subscriber welcome back to my channel thank you so much for tuning in please don't forget to comment to like and to share the videos and if you have not subscribed to my channel please make sure you do subscribe to my channel so today is day we are on day nine of this challenge and i'm happy you know i'm really excited you know Thank you so much for those of you who have been reaching out in my DMs and just, you know, throwing in the words of encouragement. I really, really appreciate it. So today we're on day nine and today I decided that we're going to be talking about hope. I decided that let me share a little bit of what I know about hope. So, so today we're going to be talking about hope, like I said, and how I define hope is, you know, it's... A confident expectation of good things in the future and obviously we'll all be hoping for good things to happen for God to do good things for us in this life never will we ever you know um, expect to uh, encounter bad things in the future so even the Bible tells us that in Jeremiah chapter 29 verse 11 and it says for I know the plans I have for you declares the Lord plans to prosper you and not to harm you plans to give you hope and a future and we i'm sure we are all familiar with this bible verse a lot of us we actually you know recite it in our prayers you know sharing with other people you know it's a bible verse that we share because we understand that you know we do have hope and god has plans for us plans to make us prosper which is a good thing and not a bad thing, you know. So, no matter how dark things get in life, we always have to continue to hold on to that hope that we have in Christ. It's just the same as, you know, having faith, hope and faith in God. Trusting and believing that God is going to deliver the things that you are praying for. Because the Bible tells us that, you know, hope is unseen. And we see that, you know, it says that in um, 2 Corinthians chapter 4, verse 18, and it says, We fix our eyes not on what is seen, but on what is unseen. Since what is seen is temporary, but what is unseen is eternal. So, you know, hope is unseen. The things that you do not have at the moment, you are expecting God to deliver for you, you know. But we are most of us were familiar with the story in the Bible, which is the story of Job. And you know, Job knew that you know everything else was gone, but God remained with him. And he knew that one day he was gonna have the joy um, in his presence. And I think as Christians as well, it's important, you know, it's so important that you we read the story of Job and see how hopeful and faithful he was, knowing very well that, you know, at one day God is going to, you know, come through for me. If I continue to have hope and faith in him, God was going to come through for him. And the other thing, we, when we talk about hope, obviously we can't separate hope with endurance and patience so obviously when you hope for something you're hoping for something that you have not seen yet you are hoping that you know in the future maybe you know i will have this and obviously for you to be able to get to that point you need to endure a lot of things during the course of your journey to that place where you will now enjoy you have to be patient because a lot of us like i've said before we tend to you know end up settling for things that are not ours because we like uh, endurance we like patience so hope endurance and patience these three they work hand in hand you cannot separate them once we have hope in the lord because the problem comes in when you hope uh, in other people when you put your hope and your trust and your faith in other people once you have your hope in christ once you put your hope in Lord Jesus, once you put your hope in our Savior, 
He will give us strength. He will give us the spirit of endurance. Focusing on what will come after the storm has to be something that will strengthen you, you know, to continue to build your hope and your faith in Jesus Christ. It is something that, you know, has to be so overpowering that it overpowers the fears and the doubts that you'll be having, whether God will show up for him to fulfill your future plans, for him to, you know, not allow your hope to go in vain. And I think, you know, it's very important that, you know, we always remind ourselves that, you know what, no matter what happens in life, somewhere somehow god will always show up as long as you continue to put your hope and your trust in him he will never leave you with that being said that's the end of today's video i hope you guys have loved and enjoyed this video please do not forget to comment to like and to share and if you have not subscribed please make sure you do subscribe to my channel i will see you in my next video bye guys